I want you to pay attention to this because this is an interrogation technique that is brought about through neural encoding, um, neural uh, uh, techniques that are brought about for um, uh, using uh, virtual reality or augmented reality or high definition video realities uh, in order to set for the target to experience as they're sleeping. So the scenarios can be played out for interrogation purposes, okay? And also for memory retrieval purposes and probably to excite certain neural pathways that hold certain information that the perpetrators want for interrogation purposes. And if you don't believe me, listen to this. Technique that they use within the dream is to have other characters that are in the dream ask you questions. In the dream? Yes, they will ask you questions, and you are pretty much uh, very submissive to that. You are very, uh, they can extract whatever they want from you at that point. You have no guard up in your dream, and you may relinquish information you wouldn't normally relinquish. Are they reading your dream state mind? Well, they're doing that. They're monitoring the way you interact with the dream that they've set up for you. And simultaneously, while you're distracted with this dream in your mind, they are also doing something else, which is called, um, it's, it's a type of hypnosis. And they are actually extracting memories and thoughts and the way you think uh, from you while you're in this dream at the same time. And sometimes both. Sometimes they'll also be asking you questions during the dream. So you're not only being unconsciously being drained and unwittingly being drained of memories and thoughts and what actually makes you up as a human being and, and, and as, a, as a unique person, but they're also asking you actively during the dream. Jeez, truly incredible technology. Where